Hello and welcome to Buy Me For You Creations. Thanks for visiting my channel. Please like and subscribe. Today I will be teaching you how to crop and print your designs out for sublimation using Silhouette Studio. If, For instance, if you have an image that you want to sublimate but it is larger than your printer paper size, then you will have to print your images on multiple sublimation papers and then piece them together. So we're going to first go and find a design. So we we'll go to file and we go to merge. And I'm going to do this Atlanta Falcon design. Okay, now that we have our design, we're going to go right here to the rectangular and we're going to draw a rectangle. Um, then we're going to go over here to the transform panel and we're going to click the scale, which is the arrow. And I'm going to put in 8.5 for my width and 14 for the height but you put whatever your paper size is that's what you're going to put for your width and your height and you hit apply and so now that that's highlighted we're going to go right here to the star which is the offset panel and we're going to go to internal offset. D by default, it's always 0.125, but I always do. I'm sorry. I always do 0 0.100. Let me do it again. Offset. Let me click on it again. Internal offset. And we're going to do 0 0.00. Hit apply. And actually, we're going to undo that. Okay, we're going to leave it at the 0.125. And then we're going to grab the inner box and move it over to your over here by your design. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold down the shift key and click on your design. And we're going to go, no, I'm sorry. Before we do that, we're going to click on the box. And then we're going to go right here to the duplicate panel. And we're going to duplicate right, down, and to the left. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And from here, we're going to highlight all of this. And we're going to hit control, down arrow one time, control, down arrow two times, control, down arrow three times. And that should give you four designs. One, two, three, four. So, that means that your design will have to be cut on four different sublimation papers. Then we got to go over here. So, it did make that. So, that's not supposed to be there. So, I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so... We're going to do the same thing. Control down arrow one time. Control down arrow two. Control down arrow three. And that's four. Okay. So we're going to click off of that. And what we're going to do from here, we're going to click right here. The right top box. Right top. I mean the bottom right box. And the bottom left box. And we're going to hit delete. So that just leaves us with the top left box and the design. So we're going to hold shift and, and click on your design. And you're going to go over here to the modify panel. And you're going to click crop. 
then you with that still highlighted you're going to hold your shift button down and you're going to click in this first box and you're going to go to your transform panel your align and you're going to hit align center and vertical up okay now you're going to do the same thing for the rest of them so you're going to this time you're going to do the you're going to do the right the top left box bottom left box bottom right box and you're going to hit delete you're going to hold shift down select both modify panel crop you're gonna. I'm gonna take this up some. You're gonna hold shift down, second box. Let me take this up, and you're gonna go transform panel. You're gonna go to center, and you're gonna go to vertical top. and we're gonna hit send to back we're gonna highlight that blue box and hit send to back and there you go okay and then we're gonna go down to the third it actually yeah. so this time we're going to Shift, uh, highlight the top left, top right, bottom right, and hit delete. Shift, highlight both. Modify panel, crop. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it up. Which I know I can move this up. But it's, um, and we're gonna go shift, highlight the other box and we're going to transform panel center click on it send to back and i'm gonna go ahead and send this one to the back i'm gonna go ahead and send this to the back and we're going to go to our fourth design fourth one and we're going to Highlight top left, top right, bottom left, and hit delete. And we're going to go highlight these two. And we're going to go to modify, crop, modify. Okay, highlight them, crop. And then we're going to take this up. Yeah. and we're gonna hit shift highlight both and we're gonna go back to the transform panel line center now wait okay now in this case you can actually eliminate this fourth page because because my page, because my computer print paper size is eight by fourteen, I mean eight and a half by fourteen, I can move this up. I will move it up, moving using the arrow keys. I just move it up some, and I will put this one at the bottom, up under the that design. And that's how you can eliminate that fourth page. So instead of printing out four sheets, you only have to print out three sheets. Okay. And we can just delete the fourth page. And now what we're going to do, we're going to highlight it, highlight your design, highlight your box, and you're going to hit right click, hit group. That makes it into one.
piece. Okay, you know what? Before I do that, I'm I group. Okay, I'm going to make this box white. I'm going to make these boxes white. And let's see. Yeah, I'm going to make all the boxes white. Okay, now I'm going to highlight Atlanta, hit shift, hit right click, group, highlight, both, right click, group. Okay, go down, highlight both, all three pieces. Right click, group. Okay, we're gonna go over here to page setup. We're gonna make sure that your um, page setup is set up for your print size paper. So mine is 8.5 by 14. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this first box and I'm gonna go to transform panel and I'm gonna go to the center, okay. I'm gonna move this one up and I'm gonna go to the transform. I mean, I'm gonna highlight it, center, okay. Go back up, highlight, center, and that's it. You have your three pages that you're gonna have to print out for this particular design, and then. I'm, now I'm going to show you how to print your design. I'm not going to actually print the design out, but I'm going to show you my print settings. So you go to File, Print, and you go to Preferences. Where you select your printer, you go to Preferences. And um, as you can see, you choose whatever size paper you have, which is mine is 8 by 14 by 8 and a half by 14. Um, paper tight premium presentation paper mat quality high color and I don't mess with none of this stuff down here if you want if you want to see your um, print before you print it you, of course you can highlight check the uh, print preview box but I go to more options and here I go to color corrections customs advanced over here, I choose color control, and right here, I put Adobe RGB, and then I go to 1.8, and I hit OK. And here, um, at the bottom, I always do high speed, and I mirror my image. High speed, and mirror image, and then I hit OK. And then I will hit print, but I'm not going to print, so I'm going to just hit cancel. So what's going to happen is going to print this first page right here out. When this first page is done, you right click, send to back of layer. You print the second page out. When it's done, you right click, send to back of layer. And then you will print your last page out. And then you can send to the back of the layer, and it should be the first then it should be the first page that you print it out and that's it that's how you that's how you crop and print an image that is bigger than your paper size hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial i want to thank you all for visiting my channel don't forget to like and subscribe thank you